Today I'm going to show you how to create a web page using Notepad. Let's get started. The first thing you do is you open Notepad. Let's keep it really simple. We'll build on the examples as we go along. So I have Notepad open and let's type your name. I'll assume your name is John Doe. So inside of Notepad, I type John Doe. And then I'm going to save this file. This is where the trick comes in. Because if I was to save this file, it would save as a default text file. What we want to create is a .html file. When you create a .html file, your browser knows that is a web page and I need to open it. So we're going to save this file on the desktop. Let's call this first page. And I'm going to end it with the .html extension. That extension is very important. By default, your browser is set to open .html files. Maybe you use Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Firefox. Before I click Save, I'm going to choose Save as Type All Files. Then I click Save. You'll notice that on the desktop, I now have a page called firstpage.html. And if I was to double-click that file, it opens in the browser. Because your browser knows to open .html files. So sitting on the desktop, I have a .html file which opens by default in the web browser. So I want to make changes. Apart from having my name, I want to add today's date. So what I do is I right-click the file and I choose Open With. And then I choose Notepad. Notepad is what we call a text editor. It allows us to make changes to our source code. We'll build on these examples as we go along. So I'm going to add today's date. It's the 27th of October, 2022, and I click Save. I don't need to go over Save as Type. It's already saved as firstpage.html. Now that I've made changes to my source code, I could double-click my browser, and I see the changes. That's it, your first HTML file. The important lessons you learned today is that you have your text editor, Notepad, which allows you to modify the source code, and you could open and view the results in the browser of choice. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, let me know. I'm a programmer, but I don't bring it to the forefront a lot. I could teach you things like HTML, PHP, SQL, MySQL, and a little bit of server administration. Go create a second HTML page. You could put your parents' name or your dog's name, whichever one you prefer, and save it as second.html and let me know how that goes for you. The more you do this, the better you get at it.